In the market for a levitating bed? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Now, you spend about a third of your life sleeping. So if you live to be the average lifespan about 70, that's 23 years ish in dreamland. Wow. And it makes sense that people would be uh, because we spent so much time there thinking about ways to make that experience more interesting and better. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Cooler, What's awesomer. happening in the bed world? Now, uh, the creators of the beds that we're going to share with you today are either geniuses or completely insane. I prefer to think both. We're going to take you through um, some of the most ridiculously awesome question mark hmm. beds that we could find right. in existence. The first one um, it comes out of China. Okay. But much like California, there's a con constant threat of earthquakes. Oh. So Chinese inventor Wang Wenzi got a patent for an earthquake-proof bed in 2010. Oh. He's still working on it, but the concept is that there are sensors uh, that detect when the ground is shaking, i.e. an earthquake. earthquake. Not when the bed is shaking, but when right. the ground is shaking. And then a trap door opens and basically swallows up the person sleeping on the bed. Uh, the YouTube channel Dehearsome has an animation. Dehearsome? Dehearsome. It has an animation that shows how this thing works. Oh, it's a pretty bed. Don't Look wake him sheets. up. Don't wake him up. Shh. Let's. let's oh, why are we leaving him? Let's float I away. I wanted slowly. to see that bed. Well, you got to look at. Uh, that's not oh, camera shake. Oh, snap. That's earthquake. Earthquake. Guys. And. What, what sucks him right up. World happened, and then they demolished the whole block. And of course, now he's in a vault. Oh, with supplies, with some water, water and a food. gas mask, fire extinguisher, two first, first aid, aid. Kids, in case you were sharing um, the bed. So, this is actually a, a really cool idea. I mean, it, the, the sad fact is, in the wake of these huge earthquakes, you see, they're, they're searching for people, and the chances of finding somebody alive are pretty slim. But they're gonna just find like a storage bin. They're not gonna know there's somebody in there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Take well, this out back, sell it on Craigslist. Yeah, I mean, the only thing scarier than being woken up uh, by a massive earthquake is being sucked into a sarcophagus while you're sleeping. Well, listen, I, I have some serious concerns about this because that dude was perfectly positioned on that bed. It seems like, what if he was up taking a pee break and yeah. like got halfway to the bed and then the earthquake happened? It's like, oh, it's gonna close! What thing is gonna get chopped off? He's like, oh, yeah. Probably, I mean, think probably of this, a, a leg or... I mean, I, I, seriously, I'm, I'm personally very concerned about it because not only do I sometimes sit up and read in the bed, my head might get chopped off, <laughs> but I just generally am a large person. It's like an octopus trying to put an octopus in a bucket. I've got things hanging over <laughs> different edges of my bed at all times, and it's a California king. It's like putting an octopus in a bucket by, with another bucket <laughs> yeah. on top is basically what it is. Right, sometimes I, I, the tentacles come off. Here's the thing, these are all legitimate concerns, but they have a number of models that they prototype that I think will uh, set your mind at ease. Okay. So look at these different options. Oh, that's also very got, pretty. Got some leather on the side. Shh, don't wake him. Here comes the earthquake. Bam! Oh, yeah, well, what about the sitting up reading in the bed on that one? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh, look at this one. This one, Okay, Bam. dang. You got to roll out of that one. That could cut two heads off at the same time, you and your wife. This hey, one can't it. hurt you. Whoop, whoop. That looks pretty, that looked pretty nice. Unless you had a, like, now, oh, that oh one gosh. looks like a storage. The first facility. thing that happens, and then you look up, and then that cuts your head off. <laughs> Could be wrong, but I think they gotta. They might have some some safety kinks to work out. They'll work it out. Okay, uh, now for a bed that makes you feel like you're actually finally entering the future. The floating bed. Uh, this is actually a pretty simple concept. It is a magnetic bed that essentially has uh, magnets along the bottom of it, and then you put opposing magnets in sure. oh, the. Yeah or the same charge magnets in the ground. North on north, man. And that causes the bed to be levitated. And it's actually an incredible magnetic force, so much so that they have to put these little wires to hold it into place. But you could put a car on top of this thing. And for those of you who like to sleep with your car, you are in luck, because it'll hold it up. Um, a hover now, bed. Yeah, essentially a hover bed. So the problem is, is you're like, okay, this is super cool. How come I don't see these everywhere? Well. There's a little bit of a price barrier. It's $1.5 million. And I also think there might be a couple other little barriers that you're gonna see once we talk, we show this video. This guy, a Dutch architect, John Jap Bruggeners, who I call JR for short, um, 
He has a video from a while back where he talks about his philosophy and him introducing this bed. Let's watch JR's video. First of all, no, JR is not a giant. That is a prototype bed. Uh, the prototype looks exactly the same as the real one. Um, the only difference is the size. It's smaller, Link. The prototype is smaller. Yeah. That's the difference. The but magnets. there it is. You can put your hand Actually, under it. They push each other away. The strength is good enough uh, to hold it up. Okay. Why is he so more. sweaty? Is he so nervous? Need four thin cables from the corners to actually. I mean, he's not confident. Grand. Well, in so his prototype, it I just feel like I don't necessarily trust this guy. He doesn't like an architect. Down. He looks That's like a waiter at an Italian restaurant. Well, st any, you know what I'm saying? Stand on the prototype, man. Any, I want to put. Does anything go on it? And he seems like he would be a very good waiter. He's the kind oh, of guy yeah. I would give this guy a tip, sight unseen almost. Oh uh, yeah. So, would you like any pepper? Okay, so anyway, uh, I think there are a couple of problems with the price being this, the main one, but you can get that prototype bed for $146,000, Link. Oh! How does that sound? And you can put your dog on it, or your cat on it. That's that's an expensive um, dog bed. I gotta say, I don't think this, this was a hoax, but it hasn't really taken off in the market. He made this video like seven years ago, and there's no place online other than this video and a few pictures that you can see it. So, mm. JR, please, Finish this. We will get it. Lower the price. Make it $150 and we'll be all over it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I got one. It's a little bit cheaper. $55,000 for oh, what they claim to be the reasonable. most technologically advanced bed ever. It's called the High Can Bed, aka the High, AKA the high Fidelity Canopy. And um, they claim that it quotes, quote, decreases stress and anxiety and introduces your home to the ultimate illustration of immediate proximity. I'm always looking for immediate proximity. Uh, or at least illustrations of it. Ch check this thing out. Basically, you can live inside of this bed. Yeah, look at that. So the, the shade's going up on this revolutionary oh, bed. it does look revolutionary. Look at that, listen. Your, your music. music. See, what? You can listen your music. Are they missing a two in there? And there's and you can surf the internet. Hold on, you can actually or, surf the internet and watch black and white movies. That listen, this projector screen comes down at the foot of the bed, and then there's you know it's it's got a, a remote control in there. You can play your bed. My now grandma had a had a, a a dresser at the end of her bed with a TV on top of it. I think did essentially the same thing as this. <laughs> well, it didn't look as good. This is basically like sleeping inside of an iMac. Well, yeah, it looks like something they that's come gonna up, go obsolete in six months. They come up with at Apple, like in Steve Jobs' absence, they don't have him there to tell him when the bad idea happens. Well, well, well don't poo poo it yet, Rhett, because the features include a surround sound system, Ooh, surround sound, fully adjustable mattress, and integrated reading lights. <laughs> you can also control. Are you other, Oprah now? Other, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That you're was a good give, Oprah. You're gonna give everybody read. Everybody gets a free you're reading ready, light. Right. Uh, the bed yeah. also controls other ho household items. You, it can make toast if you have um, a high can toaster, which doesn't exist. High can not think of a reason why anyone would want that. <laughs> How about this, Link? This is a little bit different. Um, hey, it, it's not necessarily hi. technological, but you can't okay. leave it off a list of cool beds. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. The ice bed. Now, every year in uh, Sweden from December to April, they build this ice hotel completely out of ice, right? I've heard We've of this. We've heard about yeah. this. Um, this is the first one ever ice hotel. They do it all over the place now. Anyway, everything is carved out of ice. All the furniture, including the beds, are made out of ice. And I can't tell you how many times I've thought to myself, man, my bed is too soft and warm. Yeah. So I would like it to Me be neither, colder man. and harder. Yeah. Well, they got you covered at the ice hotel. You sleep on this thing. You've got a reindeer mattress. That's not a carcass. That's just like it's reindeer skin. And then they give you this really padded polar sleeping bag that you sleep on. Do you wake up with like melted booty dents? Because uh, I'm I don't interested think so. in that. No, there's no booty dents because you are going to be separated from it. But the thing is, is this may sound like, okay, I don't understand why you would be into this, but you look at the pictures of this place, it looks like that place that Superman goes to talk to holograms of his parents. Well, it's like called like the Cave of Loneliness or whatever. Fortress he goes, of Solitude. The Fortress of Solitude or the Cave of Loneliness, whichever one you prefer. So I think this might be worth it. And, uh, it does look like that, but not in my own home, And if man. you live in a cold climate, you can build one of these in your own house. But I think the, the takeaway here is that there's not a lot of exciting things happening in the bed world. You should probably just stick with your own bed or maybe get For a now. water bed. For now. And install some reading lights! Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jason from Glasgow, Scotland. 
and it's time to spend a wheel of mythicality. The only way that you can still experience Link's wings, besides looking at old pictures and watching old videos, is with the Red Link bobbleheads available at Good Mythical. Well, actually, available at redlink.com slash store. <laughs> That's the actual website where the store is. Click through to Good Mythical more. Mobile users, click the eye. We're going to talk about a few more amazing beds that we couldn't get to. Unisong about basket weaving. I love something. Slow. And you know what it is. It's, it's that classic college class, class on basket weaving, but it doesn't actually exist. It's just what thing you say when you're trying to make a joke about college. I, I don't like Eggs Benedict, but I like Breakfast in Bed. Well, but that's a problem, because the name of my bed is Beds Benedict. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big setup, huge payoff. Uh, 